All right, Bean June, I'm showing you how to make, or, you know, viewers, I'm probably just going to post this to other people as well. This is how to make a double garage door, double HBHF sensor, where one HBHF sensor will activate both garage doors. There's one garage door, and there's another one right here behind this wall. And here's my 16 Rocket TC. Okay. So first, I've got a bunch of items on my inventory. Every single one of these electrical components will be put to use in one spot or the other. First, I'm just going to start with making the main one. This AND switch is pretty much seen as the main switch. This one will be powering both of the door controllers. You want to have a, a branch right next to it that powers out two I guess two this is gonna have to have three power so you're gonna want to have one that gives three you're gonna want to row these things out so that way you know that all of them are getting direct power from the battery and no off splits or anything else because it should not split off at all so I'm gonna do all of them right now, I didn't design any form of switch on me for keeping it off because I'm intending that this will be permanently on. Okay, so I'm just going to start with wiring this here. Okay, now one of these powers is going to always have to generate four electricity so that way this can always output three. So I'm going to set this to the number four. Branch out it here okay this means that when it's powered this and switch always has a four and this other one will be linked to the other another and switch or an or switch so you're gonna put the or switch directly under it it's easier this way when you go here to this power out son of a bitch really I found it. So the other one. It doesn't matter if it's left or right. None of these matter if it's left or right. It's first on the outside. Okay. Now, some of these are going to be directly to the turrets. The turrets across the road. I'm going to do uh, a little bit smarter for two of them. I'm going to pick two of them off the wall and move it closer to my to my intended destination. I'm also going to see how far my wiring tool allows me to, to wire. So, I can only wire to the other square. I can't wire any further. I'm going to do my best and put it right up against here. Should still be able to slot my windows down. And you're going to want to put two of them. One of them is replacing this. So, you're gonna wanna have it closest. As I said, this is the reason I'm placing it here. So it's closest to the external PC over on the other side, because there is two turrets and two door controllers. So it can extend all that distance all the way there. As I said, it's still from the power out of the hand. This one is a solid 10. A solid 10 because that's the electricity required for a turret okay it's going to branch out for 10 power in however it's just going to be any of them really doesn't matter it doesn't need to have anything else other than that This one is going to be my other inside turret, so 10. It doesn't matter which you choose, as long as you remember which one you selected has to be your turrets. So this is my other turret. You always want to have them to the power out, because the branch out is the number you've selected. So constantly select it this way, that way the power flows through the system. Okay? Now, the power that needs to flow through the system is kind of funky. Because you have these two AND switches. Oh, why the hell would you have to have two AND switches? 
well, they don't, the HPHF sensor will only give out the amount of electricity that one person, that how, as, as to how many people are standing on top of the, uh, the systems. It's a metal for repairing my windows. And I hope that there's no loser standing outside my house ready to kill me. Repair it real quick. Find a nice snug little spot for these things. We've walled off outpost, by the way. Literally all the way here. Just to flex a little bit. That's the why I'm doing this. And yeah, the wall's gonna extend here. Mm. Your first guy's gonna walk off. Dilly dally, dilly dally. You're gonna fucking you're gonna die right there. Same thing goes for this one. I don't want you to die. Them, you want them, to be honest, you want them very close to in front of the turrets because that way it cannot be baited. Right now I can probably open that one. That one might shoot me. Don't want them to be able to bait it. And that's the point of the system is that it is bait free. You're running, you're running, it's gonna activate probably at this distance. This distance, you will not be able to survive. Now put the power in. I'm gonna have to open this up for a moment. The power in of each one it needs to come from a power of two for these. So, I like hiding my wires. Some of people don't care about hiding wires. I like to hide wires. Best way to hide wires, look at low elevation. The lowest elevation possible. Then connect the two lowest elevations. So you can see this wire is going pretty much through this road now. Because the road is a little bump. Sometimes you can get really lucky. And find those really low spots where it's almost invisible. See? Now we can wire it all the way through here. All the way through the system, all the way to the other. Oh, I did the power out, didn't I? It's the power in of these. I had a beautiful location, but I messed it up. It's the power in. Could have immediately done the other wiring, but one step at a time. Don't want to confuse you guys. Wire it here. As I said, oh, look, beautiful elevation right there. Pretty nice and hidden. Doesn't go across the road, so it's not going to be super obvious as to what it is. It's too far. That's funny. I had the perfect distance. That's two electricity to power that. That's two electricity to power that. When they're outputting, their output is going to these AND switches. Because it only generates one electricity, but it has to generate two. It needs to be able to output more. So, that one, and this one is going to be to the output of the other one. An AND switch is a great way of amplifying electricity for something that only gives you one output, but you're actually expecting a little bit more. Do that, do that, see? I don't know why this one's so much higher. I'm going to refix this. As to you, this is an actual wipe I'm playing, and I want my wipes to be. I hope I gave my electricity, yeah, I gave my electricity more than enough room. I still have one electrical branch that I entirely forgot to place, as there should be a total of five, six, seven. Seven electrical branches in each system. Another system of power out, and this needs to generate, oh wait, this is a turret one. I needed to make more. I messed that part up. There will be a part two as to me going home. But it doesn't matter. No, there won't. I will just tell you that you need two more electrical branches for the power of the two turrets. 
remember that the two in front and you just hook them up from power in to the power out and you leave in branch as 10 you'll always need to branch 10 if you do not branch 10 it will not work the outputs of the and will go into the or because it's either or if the left one's activated it works or the other one's activated it works these need exactly hmm, i think they need more than three electricity because it goes one it needs to output one two three three four because it has to start the 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 uh, door controllers too so this requires four so you want it to give it five because itself needs one right one, two, three, four, five. So I say five here, and I say this one, five here. It doesn't matter where you select them, as long as they are selected. And now, we're at it ready for the last step. Actually, did I? Yeah, I did, I did miscount by one. If I had one more uh, branch, it'd be done. Sorry. Because remember, one of these is already in use for the turrets. From the AND switch to the electrical branch. Or I'm, I'm just freaking out. You Actually, this is the right amount. It is seven. Because this one can split for both, both turrets. Okay. This AND switch is the total acceptor to say that both of them are going to turn on now. So, you're going to set up your garage doors. Probably need locks for these. Uh, roll inwards, roll outwards. Nah, nah, doesn't really matter. Roll outwards is uh, generally the uh, better idea anyways. So, I'm going to grab some metal and make some locks for them as they have to be locked. I only need one. Because they have to be locked for the door controllers to even activate. So, outwards the roll. It doesn't really matter where you put them, how high, or anything. It's just best that you have them hidden. This is in a spot where it's not going to easily blast. But you can pair it regardless. As long as it's un oh, it's, as long as it's unlocked, it can be paired. This one's paired. That's right. That was my code for the wipe. Don't raid me. I love you. Pair to this door as long as it's closed, right? I don't know. Yeah, as long as it's closed, it took a while for it to do that. This one is now paired as well. This wiring will be. A little iffier. So I'm going to pick it up actually. And I'm going to lower it. I'm lowering it because I want to hide those wires as I told you before. Going to get my code in. I'm going to do this one first because it's on the opposite side. Okay, and maybe, maybe, maybe I set up my electricity to just be the right. Oof. Oof. Nope. Nope. I can't hide over there. It's gonna have probably just have to hide straight through this bush. Pull that off. Hide it through these bushes. Go to the low ele elevation here. Slip it down. It's obvious as shit. I don't care. It's, this is the, the big uh, F off machine in the game, okay? To the one that goes from the and. I believe it was this one. This one's the and, yeah. That one controls that. And this one, I don't have to really hide it. I don't really want to know what I'm doing. Because this one goes to this. Luckily, there's always electricity in large batteries. That's the reason I have not hooked it directly up. Because this system is complete. Other than the two turrets and the one turbine. I will already do the turrets as an ultimate test to see if it works. And then unwire my system in a moment. As to let the battery charge once the wind turbines are completed. 
turret number one. Here's turret number two. Once the system is running, I can show you a proper count as to how much electricity the system uses. As for right now, I am not entirely certain. This and a branch out of 10 for the other auto turret. So there, there. And by the way, it's turret ping ping, not turret. Okay, the system is complete. I don't know why it directly. For, as for the fact that I'm now hidden, I will step inside the range. I am now in range. As you can see, this works. I will now try and sneak up on this. Ha! That one activates, and that one activates. Both turrets are now running. The system is complete. The system uses 38 electricity. That is actually a lot cheaper than I was expecting. And that is how you create a double system. A double HBHF, double garage, automatic opening system. You can always expand the amount of... Uh, the amount of garage doors for example if you wanted more garage doors opening you would just have to have more or switches with the same and switches but they would they would need to generate more electricity as to make it flow through the system as to make it flow through the or switch so that way the or switch can power enough electricity to go through the whole system and that is how you complete <sighs> that's how you take over outpost boys <laughs>